my name is Kezia, and this quadmaster at TD Christian High School, I've had the privilege of participating in their cooperative education program. My placement is at a local French bakery, La Briandes Market. It is a small family owned and operated business, which fortunately allows me to experience and understand every aspect of the culinary world, from production to customer service and sales. So let me take you through a day in my life. I wake up somewhat unconventionally, quite late for someone who works at a bakery as I start at either 10 or 11.30. I get ready, make myself breakfast, usually a bagel, and then pack my lunch and head out the door. It's a fairly short car journey. Barely enough time for me to finish my bagel. I am welcomed by course of bonjour. As I head to the back to change. I perform a variety of tasks throughout the week, from watching how different foods are prepared, to making them myself by weighing the ingredients and whipping them together, cleaning the kitchen, to washing the dishes and putting them away. As I have gained more experience in the bakery, I have been given more responsibility, which has granted me the ability to quite literally see products from start to finish. For instance, the apple pies. I have assisted in making the pastry, greasing the tins, placing the dough within them, filling them, baking them, and finally packaging them in the front. On the weekends, however, it is a different story. On Saturdays, I work in the front and once again perform a variety of tasks. There's customer service, making coffees, and restocking products. But by far, the biggest task is restocking the soups. You've just crossed over to the Potato Leak Zone. I grab the roll of labels and cut one out. And write the name of the soup. In this case, Potato Leak Soup. I then head to the back fridge to grab the soup. I then dry the jar. Stick on the label and attach the price. I then bring the prepared jar to the fridge in the front. I then follow the first in, first out rule, which means I take out all the old jars and put the new one in the very back. The co-op program is an amazing opportunity for anyone interested in pursuing a career in the trades. Personally, I have no clue what I want to do in post-secondary school. So having the opportunity to go in and experience things firsthand is really helping me decide whether or not this career is right for me. I'm so grateful for this opportunity and having done this and would honestly recommend it to anyone. I have learned so much at this co-op, things I know I would never have been able to learn at school, let alone online school. If one taste, if one uh, flavor is too strong, it's gonna go over every, anything else and you won't, you won't be able to, to feel anything. All about balance. Exactly, you know. It is no secret that I loathe online school, so being able to go out and learn hands-on something I really enjoy doing is an amazing way to end my grade 11 year. I have learned many culinary skills, such as how to create a dish by watching someone and then how to recreate it myself, how to keep a kitchen clean by washing dishes, putting them away, and just generally cleaning, how to interact with customers, and how to keep the front of the shop clean and stocked as well as general rules of the kitchen, such as never, ever leave a knife in the sink. I've also learned how to cut parchment paper, crack eggs, where things go in the kitchen and how to arrange it, how to get baking trays out of the oven safely, and that my new favorite type of painting is with butter and eggs. I've also learned many transferable skills, such as the importance of punctuality, initiative, so putting away and cleaning dishes when I see there's a need, collaboration, by performing tasks successfully in a group. An example of this is last week I was part of a three-person assembly line to produce 90 portions of stuffed salmon, and finally, independent work. So being able to observe someone making a dish and then successfully recreating it myself, such as this lemon curd I made last week. Truth be told, it's the people that make this co-op placement so enjoyable. Bonjour. Bonjour. Bonjour à tous. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Martial. Je suis l'exécutif chef à la Brérandaise. Je me présente. Je m'appelle Erwan. Je suis en charge de tout ce qui est salé. Je m'appelle Pierre et je suis responsable du magasin. Je suis Pascal Poilbourg, le responsable de la Brérandaise Market. Et je vous souhaite à tous la bienvenue dans notre magasin. The challenges I'm facing are things I am gradually surmounting. At first, it was my rusty French that made it a little hard to understand instructions. Over time, much of my French knowledge has returned, thankfully, and I'm now able to communicate and converse and understand instructions with a lot more confidence and ease. I was also challenged by my lack of experience in a bakery, from the vast amount of ingredients, the fast-paced production, and the new recipes. At the end of my six and a half hour day, I go to the back to change, 
head on back home. Au revoir. Salut. Salut. Au revoir. Ciao, ciao. And you usually do nothing. And that's the day in my life.